Howdy, folks. This is Man of 0073 here, Cruise Milan, Burn the Roman Nichols, pulling into that car park with the handbrake. And today, I'll bring you another Minecraft Let's Play video. And uh, today, we're going to just keep on plugging over the piss, as evidenced by the title. However, in the last Let's Play episode, you'll notice that there is no sandstone or no sand or gravel at all in here, virtually. It's now just stone. Diorite, granite, andesite, and, well, bits and pieces of dirt laying around. Plus, whatever the hell is down under it's being coal, iron, gold, diamonds, you yeah. know. Anyway, well, outside of that, jump over to the correct area, and I actually can't access my chest from there. I get it from here. No! <laughs> no! I'm going to try something here. There you go, a little, <laughs> a little bit of a glitch for you, folks. Hmm. Not strictly a glitch, but but do the job if you need to access a chest, as long as you don't fall to your death doing it. It wasn't the chest I wanted, anyway. Damn it! There you go, folks, you fall out of, the, out of the range of the chest, it automatically closes the window. <laughs> Never mind, I'll just walk up here. Got me another two stacks of sand. In there, and in there. Yes, I have coal blocks. I got plenty of those. I just up here. I got like stacking a bit coal blocks. That's a lot. Although that is to be expected when you're uh, kind of mining out large areas. Now, and there are caves actually under here too. I'll just show you one. Show you all one. And for some reason, we have a cow down here. I honestly don't know why the cow is even there, but... Okay. Here is one of the caves. This is one of the few caves that go off of here. I've been up there. I believe I've been down there. Yeah, I have. Oh, wow. How did I miss this? No, no block there. No block there. Just the bird poo block is, um... Iskal 85 foot soon. I'm actually going to sneak out the exit down here. I don't smack my head on the roof. Give me a second. Nope, that was gravel. Just got there. I need to get rid of that block. That'll make the jump a little easier. Much better. Okay, anyway. We're not so much dealing with this big uh, big area here today. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go and clear out these lakes that I've got up top. And the 23 levels I've got so far, folks, are literally just off getting mining out coal and iron. Because I'm not down low enough to get gold or anything yet, so can't do much about those. But I'm to continue getting stuff, things done, I need to be rid of these lakes. These, fortunately, won't take as long as doing the uh, big area, for the obvious reason. Yes, that's a sheep's head you can see through the corner of the blocks there, folks. And because it's there, I can't place it because the hitbox is injecting with the dam with where I wanted to place the block. Let's try that one again. She's a little too interesting to me for its own good. That wasn't meant to happen. Until it gets its face out of there, I can't do anything. That's another one done, and apparently 
the mobs can't get out of there. <laughs> oh well. Well, I'm like, I was never gonna let them out anyway. And for those who have been watching my previous steps, yes, I'm only using stone tools because it's just so easy. I've got a hell of a lot of stone. Well, cobblestone, anyway. I think kind of begs the question, if they're stone tools, why do you have to use cobblestone to make them? It doesn't quite make sense when you think about it like that. Yeah, you luck can get out. You're only gonna try and get out anyway, as soon as I'm on the box out later on, so. You just may, well just may as well just get out now when you can. And if I were to do a tips video, folks, which I'll more than likely actually do one. One of the ti one thing I'll always recommend is you have is don't use your tools to hit mobs unless you absolutely have to. If you're going to use a, a, a particular tool to hit a mob, use an axe. I don't know why, but using the axe does the most damage. Pickaxe does three, two for a shovel. This is stone, by the way. An axe does four, I think. And a hoe, basically, well. I think you can guess what that does. Pretty much all. Damage. <laughs> That's a way to avoid taking damage. Now I just wait till I spawn. Oh, right. And I didn't make an exit for myself. See mobs, you're free. Oh, fiddlesticks! Well, there you go, folks. I left some on the ground too. Now I can get rid of the sandstone. You know, we ditch that from the rest of the areas. I'm on. Whoa, the hole there. Oh, right. I did mine with that before. Oh, dear. I forgot about that. Let me get rid of that bat spinner. Easy. That's that one done. Oop. Yeah. Actually, folks, I'm digging that block because that's annoying. I'm just going to. Now we're going we're gonna to go for a run. There's another leg over here somewhere. And yes, all this area will be down to bedrock. I've got a lot to do. Not all, and actually, plenty of sandstone to mine out here too. But I'm not worried about that just yet. Although, evidently, oh, excuse me, I will need to do it. Cow bunga, dude! And yes, folks, I'm aware I will need to build a nether portal if any of you guys are already putting that down in the comments or even questioning what the hell I'm doing this for. But net I'm going to build multiple nether portals in this world, so don't worry about it. Because I intend to actually do something with the, uh, this uh, uh, relative area, depending on what Y level I'm on. However, the nether portals may not actually work like that. There will be definitely one down the bottom of this, though. Of that, I can guarantee you. Yeah, 
And as far as the day of recording this actually goes, I'm actually playing pool comp tonight. Hence why I'm doing this earlier on. Sometimes I like to record around 6.30, 7 o'clock, but I'm not going to be home. I'm going to be out playing pool comp. And I need to make me another spoon. Another two spoons. For those who are wondering, watch Mumbo Jumbo and you'll know why the shovel is a spoon. Yes, this probably will be faster with efficiency and, um, all that, but I don't care. I'm not after the efficiency in chat because I don't even have an AFK fish farm, but as far as I'm aware, they don't even work in the new update. Not the, not the traditional ones you see, anyways. Speaking of update aquatic, I reckon it's going to be awesome to have all these new fish in the water, because the water really is very bland as it is now, with nothing alive in there besides squid. I mean, you mean, like, you can catch fish, but it doesn't really, it's not really, like, a reward as such, because you, no, because you can only see, as I say, you can only see squid. But where is the fish? I mean, like, catch cod, salmon, puffer fish, all that, where are they? You know, I'd like to be able to see them in the water. Almost like I'm catching fish in the real world, so, so to speak. As far as my, my worlds go, I'm not a big fan of AFK fishing, on console at least. It's not quite as effective as it is on PC, because it's harder to, it's actually harder to AFK fish. It's more, more like AFC fishing, away from controller, <laughs> not away from keyboard. Because to my knowledge, you actually can't use a keyboard on console. Actually, well, Bedrock for that matter, actually, as well. The only actual console edition that's actually out there, really, is actually the PS4 edition. I think PS3 is also con classed as console, but anyway. Xbox One, or bed Xbox One and 360 are both Bedrock, which is a different edition. But anyway. Not here and all there. Apparently I've got mobs in here, too. So this will be more clear of other things done. I mean, I can't, I haven't really planned much in the way of other builds at the moment. Because most of my attention obviously is going to be devoted to doing this, so. I do plan a mob farm, evidently, which I'll be building along with, with yous. And so here, this let's play is more of a literal thing, so I take it through, take these essentially through the laborsome process of clearing and all that, right? Whereas, Mumbo and Exumer and this kind of like, they tend to do cuts. Well, I'm not against that. I mean, it speeds up the episode, but it doesn't really show everything that goes into the, uh, you know, the thought processes and all that. I'm more, in, in a way, you could almost say I'm, pra I'm practical, but slight, not necessarily efficient. I mean, doing, clearing it out this way is by no means the most efficient. I could easily use TNT, but where, much as I love TNT, where's the fun in it? And my god, the pig got out of there, that's right, because they're, they're only a block high, I forgot about that. Doing! Right. Damn it! I was hoping you could go down one more pig, you had to be standing right on it, didn't you? You're sitting on the wrong block. I'm not careful, I'm gonna go down a block here in a second. Hey! That's what you get, sheep. Get in the way of my spoon.
Let's check the area. I believe that's actually the last light. That's just a little cave entrance down there, which pops up there somewhere, I think. There was a leg over here. I've got to worry about that one there. There was actually one back down here, but I, I cleared that one out. But I had to get some... Oh, no, I didn't. I thought I did. Well, you know what we're doing. Oh, cool. That's how I'm going to be. What? <laughs> You know, I get out of here last time. Oh! Well, I certainly need to do something about that coal. Time to get a little more experience, folks. And to put it out there, I don't actually plan to have these Ome Omega class tools. What's the use? I mean, it, don't get me wrong, it's great to have them. I will obviously get those enchantments, but all on one thing? Maybe not. Wow, this is a much bigger vein of coal than I thought. Are they going for 20, Mondo? Mm. Nearly fucking, um. Bloody, um. Beans. Well, that don't prove that I'm live recording this one, folks. Nothing does. I mean, I live record every episode, but still. For those who already know, that was my old man. I wasn't intending for him to actually come up this time, but oh well. Ain't gonna, ain't gonna take a nap. Right, Jimmy, look at that. But yes, he was talking about was it next next Monday because obviously I was in Victoria, Australia. Twenty degrees in the middle of May, that's actually very nice. Because we're heading towards our winter. It's short weather for us. Speaking of that, um his brother actually went over to England in the early nineties. He was running he was going around there, you know, it was a nineteen twenty degree shorts t shirt. And, and the rest of the people over there would look at him and she was like, aren't you cold? She was like, nope, this is beautiful. <laughs> and which it is for us, for us especially here in northern, northeastern Victoria. Because air heat in the middle of summer it is, oh my god, it's hot. Like you would, if you weren't used to it, you'd melt, so to speak. It's definitely a, it's definitely a version of heat that not many people have ever experienced unless they live in that sort of area. Well, with people like myself who've lived in those sort of areas all their life are kind of used to it, but it's still saps you. You might get used to it as far as general living is concerned, but getting used to it for work, you never really do. I just found iron ore. I wouldn't mind that out once I clear this out. I think there's a cave under here too, somewhere. I've already found a couple of caves, so. Uh...
this might seem a little boring, folks, but this is just all part, part and parcel of the process of clearing out an area. I wouldn't do this one if I didn't love playing the game. But I love the infinite, infinite, oops, infinite creative possibility of the game. I believe it was somewhere around here. There it is. Just the one block. Unfortunately, this episode is closing in on the finish. Why do I say that, folks? Because I actually have to get this up before I leave for comp. And with my internet connection at that moment, this could take a little bit. So, if these episodes almost seem rushed, I'm sorry about that, but my internet connection is being a little bit of a dirt at the moment. I don't know why, it just is. We not like we not like had some work done on the connection and or some part of the connection anyway and just about every time that the providers have done any work to do with the, the connection because for those who are wondering the connection I've actually got is um, a company called Activate Me which I believe is a subsidiary of Telstra. For those who are wondering, Telstra is the sh short way of saying Telecommunications Australia. Well, they deal with, they deal with phone, landline phones, which is your home phone, mobile phones, network associated with that, and of course internet service. They're an internet service provider or an ISP. If you happen to be into acronyms, is the word I was looking for. <laughs> Got a mental blank on, but yeah. And apparently, it looks like I'm not going to say it was them. Specifically, but it almost seems like every time they work on work on the service or the connection or whatever, it's almost like it's slower than it was before they started. I don't know why. It's just the way it's rolling at the moment. Got that. Got that. I can drop those too. Keep this tune. Do I have any other chests here? I don't think I do. I don't think I do. Well, that's all sandstone, folks. That's all, all that sandstone there. Come from all this area here. And there'll be more for that, for that other water that I cleared out, too. Well, that'll be my next area to clear out. Look, I got a crafting table on me. Chests are not going to be so easy to cut. If I had shulker boxes, this would be so much easier. Duh, doesn't matter. It'd be no fun if it was just simple. Oh, hello. Yeah, it'd be no fun if it was just a simple task. Anyway, folks. The world itself looks pretty damn good. I still gotta clear that hill out of the back there too. That's an ongoing project, but anyway. Well, anything other than that's just gonna be an ongoing project. I mean, this is gonna be quite an ongoing project as, as it is. We're not gonna set time frame to complete mine because it's gonna be one big project. It'll be a lot of trees grown and a lot of chests used. <laughs> Yeah, my storage system, this is gonna be filled with I don't know how much cobblestone. 
Well, no, we'll grind out and die right in all the other blocks. Anyway. I'm gonna have to bet on it it's on its own showcasing all that, I think. But anyway, that's when it will get finished. As I say, that is everything I believe I wanted to do for this episode. Just a little bit of a more casual episode, just clear out a couple things, kind of just a little bit of a chat sort of thing. But anyway. With all that being said and done, if you liked that video, please be sure to hit that like button and leave a comment down below. Now, I'll greatly appreciate it, all those likes and comments, and of course, if you really loved it, hit that subscribe button, which is also greatly appreciated. And of course, to be notified, hit that notification bell and select the all option to be notified whenever I upload a video. With all that being said and done, oh, and before I forget, I can't forget this. <laughs> I'm still not used to saying this, folks, but if you want to help help out not only my channel, but also Aerody13's channel and our Jewel channel, Dust Velociraptor, be sure to donate on our Patreon page. Patreon.com forward slash Dust Velociraptor, and Dust Velociraptor is one word. So again, that's Patreon.com forward slash Dust Velociraptor. Patreon.com forward slash Das Velociraptor. Again, Das Velociraptor is one word. And don't mind that it comes up with Eric D is doing whatever. It's set up for all three channels. It's just, he had to do that in the setup, I believe. I haven't talked to him about it, but it doesn't matter. You know, if you want to help us out, donate to that. We'll be forever grateful. We're even forever grateful, even if you do not. That is your choice. It can be as little as a dollar. That's more than enough. Anyway, with all that being said, I'll see y'all next time. Until then, this is Battle 073, smoking up those tires, putting that rubber on out of here, and signing.